good morning, y'all. Yeah, hold up. Winter is gone. Yeah. It's sunny today and it's way above zero. Those are catacetums, by the way. We'll leave them alone and never speak of them again. Um, everything in bloom and I think I just about have enough to do one. Um, prima Donna. And there are two buds still to come, but the rest is open. And this is, uh, when I got this, uh, <laughs> well Roger told you uh, he just ripped a part of his plant and sent it to me. And this old cane, this one here, and this one. That's the piece I got. And last year it made this big growth, which is, well, a bit wonky. But it has, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, oh, need to recount, one, two, three, four, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, seventeen flowers. And it is super pretty and once again the camera does not get the color right. It's really, really annoying. Let me try some more light. No, okay. It's a very soft yellow and the only thing you see at the moment that's yellow is the heart. And the entire flower is a very soft yellow. It's absolutely gorgeous. And because I'm a klutz, I have no idea how to set up my camera and this is my old phone I'm using at the moment because the new phone is even more incomprehensible. Yeah, I can't even adjust the volume of the ringtone, so <clears throat> yeah, silly me, yeah it's full of flowers. And you can see here there are some ridges and that means it's a little bit dry out dried out sorry and yeah flowering takes a lot of energy so this one is already on uh, feed and water for a few waterings now um, these are from this one started last year and this one is only a few months old and that's gonna be a big one so, Dendrobium Prima Donna. Now this is a, a red pot and in that red pot is a plastic pot wherein is a Nobile. And this one is, uh, well yeah, when I got it, it was this really really big cane covered in flowers and this is what I grew myself and this time the colors are yeah reasonably okay it is purple with a yellow heart it's really pretty does it smell you ask well hold up it does not well that's a bummer uh, here's a small cane which I didn't expect to flower, but it did. Four of them, but it's, well, a little wonky. Doesn't matter. It's super pretty. And it is a no ID, so <clears throat> give it any name you want. And it will be happy with it, so. And this one, oh. Yeah, this needs a repot, but not yet. First wait till the flowers drop and then it gets a repot. 
yeah this one is really really super pretty it's a phragmopedium and i'm not going to say the name because it is a wrong name and uh yeah the tag says one thing um michael says something else and then margaret tells me something else so it's a fragmentpedium and I really don't care what it is. It's pretty. And I wanted to do a time lapse. And I thought, well, well, all this trouble of setting up the camera and getting light. So I thought, well, let's wait a day. And it didn't wait a day. Oh my god. Kitty. Yeah, so it popped out during the night. What the hell is that? Hold up. Yeah, okay, uh, back to orchids. So, yay, it popped out during the night and we'll have to wait for the other one to flower. And this one is going to need a repot. There's few little fans growing here. Here's one well there. Well yeah. That's not gonna get any bigger. But yeah, same as with this one. But a pretty flower nonetheless. Ho Nelly. Yeah she's pretty. And they last for quite a while. It almost looks purple on camera, but it is true red. Now let's see if the second bulb is yeah, willing to do the same, but it needs a repot, absolutely, because yeah. Although it has a fairly good root system for a Nelly. But yay, Nelly! Yeah, and this one is really a surprise. I've never seen these flowers before, at least not live. And I love them. It's purple. Because just about every orchid is uh, pink, so it's purple. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. So, Lynn, thank you again. I really hope uh, the cakes that I got from Michael are going to push out some new stuff. Because, well, yeah, it's time for new stuff. Um, this one came in bud. Yeah, and it survived, so it's... Uh, strong plan. Um, I had it repotted when I got it because it has some problems and damn it has problems again. So as soon as the flowers are gone and I'm not sure if I'm going to do that myself or let it flower, uh, it yeah it's getting repot. <coughs> Okay, uh, the other two are a little bit too big to get on the table, so I'm gonna move to the grow room. Yeah, I have this nobile. Uh, well, it's only three flowers, but the cane next to it is starting to show color. And this one doesn't have the yellow lip the other one does have. And it's, yeah, it looks a bit like watercolor. And it's not a bad discoloration, all the flowers have it, so I'm guessing it's okay. I forgot what it looked like when I got it, so... Um, yeah, that's not in bloom, but yeah. Okay, uh, in bloom, in bloom. We still have a Varsavixi yellow flower. Yeah, this is a really weird orchid. Look at that. Really strange shape, and for some reason, um, 
it stopped doing what it did because there are no new bugs, so I have to wait for more. Um, there's the Odonto Blossom, the big one. It's yeah, I can barely lift that with one hand. It's super pretty. And we still have this one, yeah. And it's, it still doesn't show any signs of dropping. So, a few new ones on the way. Was this it? Yeah, this is it. The rest is in bug. So, shall I do that now? Yeah, what the heck. Um, in bud, there's a little green zygote in bud. I forgot this one, so it needs a drop of water. Um, does you have the starts of a flower spike? Mm, yeah, no, not yet. No. And we have first signs of a spike on the Pink epidendrum. Is this the pink epidendrum? Yes, it is. Um, there are the, the buds on the red epidendrum, and here's a spike forming. And ooh, there's the Dragon Ball Z starting to plump up, so. I think it's going to be uh, within a week. Yeah. I still don't know what that is, but. Well, yeah, it's growing. Um, anything else? Well, <coughs> let's do the whole shebang. Um, yeah. A white wall. And why is that? Well, that's why. It's uh, it's been a terrible winter for my mouth. <coughs> I chucked away mm, seven or eight mounts, and some of the little pots on that table, and not including my yeah, including my vendors, I lost about twenty orchids, I think, maybe a little less. Didn't count them. I just chucked them in the bin uh, with a lot of frustration. But everything is waking up, and I think we have the worst behind me, so let's hope the rest pulls through. Um, I got shammed, scammed, sorry. Um, whenever I see Roger using this stuff, uh, it's an enormous block. So I thought, well, uh, what the hey, uh, save Mother Nature, and yada yada yada. Let's order a big block. Well, the picture doesn't do it justice. This is 12 liters. And I thought, well, that's quite a lot. Well, that's not. And that's not the worst. Uh, this stuff costs 20 euros. And that's including postage. Yeah. So. <coughs> When everything is green again, I'm going out and going to rape Mother Nature again because I'm not going to pay an arm and a leg for something I can collect free. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, that's the update. This one still hasn't got any flowers, but I'm expecting them because it is full of new growth. You can see the color difference. Everything that light is new, and just about half the plant is new. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, more stuff. No, not more stuff. It's okay. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Later.